So yeah, here we are, Okayama. Uh, one of my favorite tracks. I've always done well here in the past. Uh, Friday was beautiful weather, sunshine, loads of smoke, and then boom, from yesterday we've got the, a typhoon. And now it's the best 32 and it's looking really wet. I practice a lot in the wet, but this is a different track, different surface, higher speeds than what you can ever practice in really. The biggest challenge is getting through this track in this condition, a clean lap. Not so much looking for grip or speed or trying to be the fastest. Um, if the conditions are that treacherous, I'd just be happy with the clean lap. Yeah, three in a row. Uh, I'm surprised. It wasn't looking good earlier on this weekend. It was a real tough weekend. Uh, when I made a mistake on that first uh, qualifying run on the last corner and got a zero, the pressure was just immense. This year we were partnered with Kazama, um, the, the team name is Team Kazama with Power Vehicles. I've had a long-standing relationship with Kazama-san. We work very closely together on a daily basis, so it's really cool to have Shacho, as we call him, the boss. You know, he's here drifting with us. It's just a good feeling around the pits. Uh, we're a very close-knit family. We we're missing one member for this round, uh, James, my, my sort of head technician. He had to go back to Ireland, but hopefully we'll get him back over here again soon. Uh, he, was, he was sadly missed for this last round. We missed him both for his expertise and just to be here and see the fruits of all his labor. Uh, Nian as well, of course. Nian's come from some uh, guy who had never drifted before. I met him a few years ago, uh, to practicing regularly, coming to Abiso a lot, going doing competitions. Now he was in the contention for the championship, right up until about five hours ago. Um, he could have beat Shinji Minoa. He could have been me and him for the uh, battle out for the championship. So for, for, for him it's a huge year and for me it's, I'm very proud to see him come up through the ranks and become a contender. Yeah, 
I said if I won three in a row, uh, I was going to try and build a new chassis. You know, I, I got a few ideas right now what I could do. I've done a lot with this car. It's the same car I've used for three years. Um, so yeah, I, I did, did say that if I won three in a row, I was going to go into a new chassis. But <laughs> I got a kid on the way in January, so the close season is going to be real different for me. I don't know if I'll manage to do it straight away. But yeah, I'm working on a few interesting little projects. Uh, something very different from what we're driving just now.